Hi, I'm Katia Crawford, and I teach in the School of Architecture and Planning, UNM School of Architecture and Planning, and I'm the co-founder of West Bun West, which is an artist collaborative, brand new here in Albuquerque. I want to start off by saying that I've lived in glamorous cities, the cities that are known for being that way, San Francisco, Barcelona, Melbourne, Australia, uh, Florence, Italy, and Albuquerque is the place that I have chosen to be my home. I feel very, very passionate about Albuquerque, and I think the biggest reason, or what stuck its hooks into me, were essentially the people here. We have this incredible, incredible amount of people that are unpretentious and artistic, and really make this city what it is. So with that, um, I expected to be in Albuquerque for, I don't know, six months maybe, and here I am 14 years later. <laughs> and aside from great people and an incredible landscape, Albuquerque has a lot of space. It has a lot of space, which can be a really good thing once you've spent time in New York City and you're over the infatuation and you're battling your way through the streets and subways and everything else. But it can also be a challenge, a challenge in that we have a lot of parking lots and we have a lot of vacant lots. And the amount of parking lots and vacant lots can erode a fabric of a city so that you don't have a strong sense of place from the physical buildings of a city. And so that's what I want to talk about today is taking these vacant lots, these holes in the ground, these parking lots and transforming them from space into place. So this project that's up on the screen is a student project. Um, I taught a course in the 200 level, or not the 200 level, this, the second studio of landscape architecture, graduate studio with Professor Alf Simon, who's in the back. And this student is Andrew Bernard. And the project was, you know that hole in the ground, that massive hole in the ground on Broadway and Lomas, it's a detention <laughs> pond. Well, we thought, wouldn't it be fantastic if we not only took over parking lots and, and vacant spaces, but also urban infrastructure that reads as a void in the city. And so this project proposes turning this space, which is presently a, like a literal void in the city, into an eco-park. There are eco-towers, they're cisterns, they're filled with water, they have vines growing over them. Um, they provide habitat, urban habitat. They consider non-human others in the richness of the city. They provide an oasis in the city using storm water, capturing it when it comes. We all know the storm events in Albuquerque are spectacular when they happen. And they happen, what, twice a year. <laughs> so capturing that and using it in a way that actually makes sense, instead of pumping it all the way up to the North Diversion Channel, and then flooding the Rio Grande with it. it is a, it's a process of filtration. It provides art, culture, and beauty in our city. The next slide um, is an image. A group of us, Susan Fry, Alf Simon, and I, did a proposal for this um, Heart of the City for 516 Arts. And our initial proposal was to take a parking space in downtown Albuquerque, because we have a lot of them, and we thought they could live with one less parking space, and turn it into a miniature park. And this is not something that's necessarily original. It's happening all over the United States and Europe, um, Australia. To take a parking space and transform it into a public space to gather, to communicate, to celebrate, and we ran into some stumbling blocks, and primarily it was time, but it was also that the city hadn't dealt with a project such as this before. And it also could have been my fault in that the photo montage I made is of me and my friend Mira um, precariously balanced on these blocks, which made people think, what happens when people come downtown and get really wasted and fall into Central? Who are they going to sue? <laughs> So that's one of my sort of regrets, not about Albuquerque, but about living in the United States, that we are a very Sioux happy culture, which prevents, I think, um, good design, can present, prevent good design. The next project is um, twofold. It's the first one on the left. My colleague Susan Fry and um, Bree Parker Simons and I did a competition for a small garden in France as part of this um, 
Chemont sur Loire International Garden Festival. And we won this competition and we got to go to France and build this garden. And it was, we had to build it in 10 days. It was up for six months and then it came down. And it, it really gave us this idea of the power of ephemeral landscapes, landscapes that are up for a short amount of time, that don't cost a lot of money, to really become powerful and transform a place. And so we imagine that in all of the vacant lots in Albuquerque, having these ephemeral landscapes, essentially, that turn space into place. The image on the right, you can see there's a median strip that looks pretty unloved with some foxes in it. I brought the idea of the foxes back to Albuquerque and using the fabrications lab at UNM, cut out 20 foxes and I've been I live on Forrester Street, and this is right on Forrester and Lomas. And I look at that sad, vacant, empty median on a daily basis, and I thought, it needs some foxes. <laughs> so Mira and Kenji and I went out um, at night and placed 20 foxes in the median strip. And we documented the process of how it, you know, um, changed the place as much as we could. And what was fantastic is the cars driving by cast these shadows on the opposite wall. Well, the foxes lasted in that meeting, median strip for exactly 24 hours. And um, I was really hoping that some artists took them and like did something great with the foxes and that they'd appear in other places. But because they disappeared between 11 and 8 in the morning, I'm pretty sure it was a drunk person. But I like to, to imagine where they might have ended up. And then the last slide is um, a new, really about a new endeavor with partners Kenji Kondo, Mira Woodson, and Bron Heinz. We all come from different disciplines and we came together, we've been friends for a really long time, and we came together and thought, what is Albuquerque missing that we want to see in the city? And so we rented a warehouse. It has a fabrications lab, a workshop in the back, a storefront in the front, and a gallery space. And we had a grand opening in December. And since then, we've taken sort of a nap. Um, <laughs> but the idea is to bring design to, to, to bring design to a different sort of level, to in involve community. We say that like we're separate from it as designers, but we're not. We're a part of this community. To make it accessible, to start a dialogue that we can engage in um, within and outside of the walls of academia. And we have events once a month, um, which I'm not going to go into what they are, but it's a, it's a new start. It's, it's on Kinley, Kinley and Third. And please uh, pop by or check us out on Facebook. So my dream really, I think, for this city is to elevate the language of design, to move beyond the nostalgic and the cliche of hot air balloons, kachina dolls, and, and whatnot. Not that they're not powerful, they are, and Route 66, but to situate ourselves firmly in the 21st century in an articulate, passionate, cultural, regional manner. So that's what I'm trying to work hard to do. Thank you.